we're talking about natural remedies. Many people skip medications when they get sick, and what they do is they'll actually try this popular tactic. Drink this while it's hot. It's good for you. Ugh. Why do I always have to drink this stuff when I'm sick? I hate it. Just drink it, little missy. What good does it do anyway? Ugh. So, hydration. Let's talk a little bit right now about hot liquids, just because so much of what you're trying to do when you have a cold is just feel better, improve your symptoms. So hot liquids can theoretically help loosen some secretions. Mm -hmm. That phlegm can soften it up a little bit. The key here is staying hydrated when you're sick, and also warm liquids can soothe the sore throat. So let's go down the line here of your favorite Hot liquid it's either sick. green or brown tea, and like you said, it's, it's the vapor from the tea, that probably the steam that's opening you up a little bit. It's great for a sore throat. Probably the biggest, most annoying thing for me mm -hmm. with a cold is a sore throat. Drinking hot tea helps, especially with a little bit of honey here. When you add that, you're getting a little bit of sugar, oh, yeah. and that honey, I think it's mm -hmm. a natural... Honey is a natural like, cough suppressant. Yeah. It, it, really it is, and cough, it's yeah. going to mobilize that mucus, and... Bye bye, cool. A lot of people don't mm, nice. know this, but honey actually has antioxidants in it. Mm -hmm. It's good for so you. So it's a great little yeah. trick there. You know, it's funny. Whenever I get sick, I actually start to crave lentil soup. What? I do. And my mom has a great recipe. She makes it for me. And of course, it's, it's a nice hot liquid, so it's nice and soothing. And lentils are actually a great source of protein. Mm -hmm. And they're very good for you. When Daniel's mm. sick, I make hot mm. apple cider with a little cinnamon. Sometimes I'll add a little honey to it. And, you know, it's, it's, Apples, it's you know, it's got vitamins in it, antioxidants. Um, it's whatever's yeah, making you feel good. If exactly. that makes you the and Daniel heat, feel good, yeah, I think it sounds appealing. I do basically the same thing Dr. Orden does, so I won't repeat what you said. But let's talk about hydration. When you're dehydrated, what happens? Sad Everything's face. dry. Ugh, you feel terrible. <clears throat> you have a frown on your face. Yeah, the inside of your nose, if it's all dry, it's more likely uh, to bleed. Right. This is irritated. picture like nice, moist mucous membranes. You've been using a humidifier, drinking your liquids. Oh, smiley. Maybe you have a little bit of runny nose, but That's he's, a runny happy. Nose. he's happy. <laughs> he's a little too hydrated. <laughs> There's actually a way to not only stay hydrated, we mentioned it before, but by drinking plenty of liquids, you're gonna stay hydrated internally. But we always talk about, you know, you can gargle with salt water, warm salt water. Or you can use hot, nasal irrigation with salt water. Hot steamy shower, too. Mm -hmm. And it's what really happens when you, when you get your mucous membranes and your system nice and hydrated, something really interesting happens. And this is scientific. This is medicine. I am showing you probably one of the coolest things you will ever see in your entire life. Something happens. Yeah! <laughs> And the smile is there because that's what your body wants. Your body wants to be nice and hydrated when you're sick. Yeah, and you know, I'd be eating more soup, but I can't move my arms after all those push-ups. <laughs> I literally, they're just down. And you know